Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another verse video. Today, we have a gold player, Silence, here who thinks that they can compete at the diamond level. So, today, I have put them in a diamond lobby. Everybody that you see here, aside from Silence on the orange team, is a diamond player. Silence is going to be gold. So, put your predictions down in the comments. How well do you think Silence is going to play? Are they going to play out of their minds? Can they compete in diamond? Is the new ranking system going to make lower ranks and higher ranks? Does it just make it like not really matter as much? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and let's get straight into round number one. Alrighty, so round number one has started here and it looks like Silence is playing with the shotgun on Solus here. A man of culture. I can only respect it. Playing close here on the new blue window. I'm interested to see if this is going to work. We do see Mad Villain is going to air jab that off and then... Uh, Nitrix is right here to place a Claymore as well. And he's going to get taken out by Silence right as I say that. Mad Villain going to come over and try to refrag. But I'm not sure if this is a gunfight that Mad Villain's going to want to take. Considering Silence has that shoddy and the SMG-11 at close range here. Mad Villain going to instead try to push in through stock. Droning out. Seeing that it's clear. And Silence going to go ahead and take the time to rotate off. Using, honestly, his utility fairly well. Silence walking up the main stairs here, using his gadget to see that Party is on the roof droning right now. So he's going to have information to watch this Lodgy hatch here. And we also see Pro Girl Kisser inside of Master here to help him out. Chalk in here on the window, trying to see if anybody is just outside of there. But no one is just yet. Taking a look at the blue team here. RQ trying to open up that shield. And that he will do in a run out right now, actually. But Miss going to get a kill. Mad Villain just tries to walk in through Garage. And as I say that, Chewbacca is also going to get a kill. A run out here from Miss. That's going to be RQ being taken out. Last player left is Twitch. But Silence is going to take him out as well. And wow, flawless rounds coming from the Orange team. Which is the team with our Gold player. Who actually is playing fairly well so far. Second place for the Gold team. 2-0 to start the game off. So far... If you guys put your predictions down in the comments and it was positive towards silence, you're looking pretty good right now. Also, I did want to give a big thank you to all of these players for coming out and playing. If you guys would like to play in these videos, feel free to join my Discord server with the link in the description. It's completely free for PC players, console players, etc. Free for everyone to join. So if you guys would like to join my Discord server, the link is in the description. I've got places where you can look for friends to play for ranked, rank stacks. You can ask me questions. Be a part of the videos etc so i highly recommend you guys check that out with the link in the description look at the val cam placements here we've got one in kitchen so far i wish we were able to like hop on cams and actually see all of the individual cams maybe there actually is a way to do that in spectator view i don't think there is though but i would like to see where these val cam are going to be placed the second one trying to be placed in blue i mean these aren't terrible cams i'm not really one to judge for val because i am horrid at valk i have to say wow silence being a bit ballsy running all the way back upstairs to reinforce the hatch looks like he forgot to reinforce it when he was here earlier placing valk cam so slight error there and that's gonna cost his life that's why such a small issue or error like that in siege could be so problematic silence gonna be taken out instantly within the second round for failing to reinforce that hatch sooner now, with that being said, Mad Villain and the rest of his team are going to be able to take inside of Kitchen here. But we do see Risk above right now in some shotgun holes directly above the hatch. And it looks like he's not even going to bother trying to shoot the Habanas off the hatch. So I'm not even sure the purpose of him being here. Going to dash out into cash now and try to escape. RQ going to follow with a drone, it looks like. At least try to get that cam out of the way. The hatch is going to be open now inside of kitchen and Cami is going to use a nade for that lodgy hole there, but no one is there anymore. Nitrix trying to push down through the main stairs here. It looks like he could have a gunfight with Pro Girl Kisser here soon. At the very least, we probably will see, I think it's Nitrix. No, it's Party inside of Dirt. There's one on me, 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 man, me. Man, man. Dead. A gunfight with Pro Girl Kisser, and Pro Girl Kisser is going to be the one to win it. Party goes down. RQ pushing in through bathroom here. I'm not really sure who he's trying to kill, but that's actually going to be 
Missed getting a kill onto Nitrix. There goes your IQ. Risk roaming upstairs, trying to go for a flank and narrowly missing the shots onto RQ. And it looks like we also have another roamer upstairs, or at least they think there's another roamer upstairs. As we can see, that RQ was looking around frantically for any more roamers, but he's going to find the only person roaming, and that's Risk, who's going to go down. Your Oryx player being taken out. Miss trying to get out of the main hallway as our attackers are trying to push down through the main stairs. 45 seconds left. They definitely have the ability to win this round here. Mad Villain still has some Habana charges. He could easily open up the triple wall into church with that. And that would probably help out quite a bit. Would definitely push out Miss here from his positioning. Smoke grenades are going to come out from RQ. Try to block those lines of sight. Uh, yeah, they, they... They're going to go low. Oh, that's me dead. Sight. But a free fire through the smoke all the way from Arsenal from Pro Girl Kisser is going to take out... Cammy, and that's going to be another kill onto Mad Villain. RQ with a kill of his own onto Miss. There goes your Azami. RQ in a 1v2 now, but Chewbacca prone underneath the table inside of Church is going to take him out. A great attempt there by RQ, but it just quite wasn't enough. And even with Silence dying early, immediately actually, the orange team is still able to pull out another win for them there. All right, this is going to be the last defense round, at least of the split for the orange team here. I'm interested to see what Silence is going to do this round. Last round, didn't play too hot, but the first round, get actually a pretty good showing. And from what I'm seeing, their mechanical skill actually seems to be pretty good. I don't see like their sense being too high, like over flicking, under flicking. It seems that their mechanics are, are at least pretty decent. I haven't really been able to tell much on the game sense yet, of course, because we've only really seen one round of gameplay here. So that's why I'm interested to see what happens this round. Some grenades going in through the master window here from RQ, but nothing is going to land. Silence making good work of his gadget here on Solus. Able to see that there is someone droning outside of the CC balcony, and that's going to be Mad Villain, who is just prepared for the swing here coming from Silence and that definitely was not what Silence wanted to be swinging. That was not a good idea to swing whatsoever. But fortunately for him, Pro Girl Kisser on the dock is going to be able to reset him back to 100 HP. Gotta love the dock change, right, guys? And with that, Silence do did do a significant amount of damage to Mad Villain here. So that could be an easy kill for him. Pro Girl Kisser going to be taken down, though. I actually didn't even see from who but he is going to be taken down. Nitrix actually dropped the Logi hatch, and Miss is going to punish him for that. Taking out that drone now. Mad Villain still trying to drone in from CCTV right now. Doesn't really know what he wants to do. If I were him, I'd be going underneath green box right now, because that, to me, looks like two free kills from below. Silence trying to hold his own here inside of Cash behind the green box. Mad Villain trying to go for a wide swing here. And RQ actually inside of Logi. Possibly going to try to swing here from Khan. So Silence is going to be very careful. He cannot back up towards Khan or he is going to die. And that might be what we see happen here. RQ going to get a kill onto Riz. Silence understanding the situation is going to push up and take out RQ. He has to do a 180 now as Mad Villain is still here trying to take him out. Hopping in. Miss gets a kill. There was another kill that happened as well. I can hardly even keep up with this happening. Silence tries to drop an escape, but Party is going to punish him for that. 2v2 now. Mad Villain and Party versus Chewbacca and Miss. Chewbacca on Cav. I actually somehow didn't even realize that until just now. Oh, Miss is going to go down from Party. So it's going to be a 1v2 now. Chewbacca is close on Mad Villain, and I don't think Mad Villain even really knows it. This could be an easy kill for Chewbacca. Mad Villain is on such low HP. Party, not on much more HP himself now. A push up from Mad Villain is going to happen, and Chewbacca looks the wrong way. Mad Villain going to get the headshot there, and that'll be actually the first round for the blue team. Taking a look at the scoreboard here now that the split is over. For the blue team, we have RQ in first place going four and three. Party in second, three and two. As for the orange team, we've got Mist going five and two. Pro Girl Kisser going three and two. Our gold player close behind though, third place going three and two. So honestly, not that bad of a showing considering there are two diamonds playing worse than him right now. So that's all I'm going to say. All right, Silence picking up the Iana right now. Going to be 
grabbing the Iana uh, G36C suppressor as well. Interesting decision from him. Riss going to go ahead and throw some ace charges down on the garage wall and try to open that up. Pro Girl Kisser and Silence. Looks like they're going to be trying to push in through stock here. Might be trying to buck open the floor in stock or maybe even go for a nade underneath. We'll see what Silence chooses to do here. That's personally what I would be trying to do is go for a nade underneath. Taking a look at where the blue team are playing though i'm not really sure if they're gonna get any kills with this but it is good to open up nonetheless we do actually see nitrix rotating in doing a lot of damage onto pro girl kisser party in here as well on top of the green box now silence trying to get a kill onto the bandit but just missing his shots now party trying to do his best to stay alive but he's gonna have to push out of cash now three of the blue team just sitting inside of Khan stuck because Pro Girl Kisser has basically opened up the entire floor inside of Cash now. Party going to rotate from Khan back into... Oh! Back into top red stairs. Silence almost kills himself with a grenade there. Missing it through the bars. Grenade goes up into CCTV. But it's going to miss. And Nitrix is going to get a kill onto miss. So there goes your Osa player. Rotating back into Cash now. Trying to recon take control of that again. RQ going to get a kill onto Pro Girl Kisser. So... There goes the Buck player. Silence still trying to get a kill from below. Just wildly shooting up through the floor, but no shots are going to connect just yet. Stem going to go out onto the Bandit, and RQ is going to go down as Chewbacca has walked into the site right now. Trying to get some kills. I'm not sure if Silence saw it, but someone just dropped in the bar. Looks like it's Mad Villain, but Silence going to get a kill onto the Jaeger playing on top main stairs, and he has to either push the Thorn or go up main. He's going to walk down, and Thorn's going to rotate off, but... Tommy isn't, and they're going to get the kill onto Silence, and they're going to get the last kill to Risk as well. Great round by Kami there at the end, and a good try by Silence as well, but that's going to tie things up 2-2 two two here on Clubhouse. Also, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please consider subscribing, turn notifications on, like the video as well. Would mean a lot to me. Thank you, thank you. Also, comment down below any video suggestions that you guys have. I'm always trying to make some new videos that you guys are interested in. So if you guys would really like to see me like record a very specific video, just put it down in the comments or join my Discord server like I mentioned before. I have a video suggestions tab or like channel in there. So if you guys ever have like video suggestions, you can always put them in there. And I actually do a lot of viewer submitted video suggestions. So if you want to potentially see your video put on my channel, consider joining the Discord server and maybe I'll make it happen. All right, Silent's going to switch off of Iana and opt instead for Maverick this time. But I'm interested to see if he's going to be prepared for the spawn peak here from Nitrix. He is going to be sprinting directly in the line of sight of it. And no, he's not ready for it. Nitrix is going to take Silence out instantly. That is the second time Silence has been taken out within the first 20 seconds of the rounds here on Clubhouse. Definitely not a good look here whatsoever. That's a common spawn peak that you definitely need to be looking out for. And that's going to be... The only hard breach for the orange team being taken out. Unless Pro Girl Kisser has some hard breach gadgets, which he does. But that is going to significantly limit their choices here. Although, for some reason, Dirt is actually soft. So maybe it doesn't quite matter. Very interesting angle here from RQ, who's opened up the bar inside of Church. And then opened up the bottom of the right panel inside of Church on this triple wall. I've actually not seen this before, but it's an interesting angle. Pro Girl Kisser going to be trying to take control of Dirt now. And I'm not sure if any of the defense actually knows it yet. As he is just alt walking in. No one is looking his way. This could be two kills for Pro Girl Kisser here. Dokubi call goes out. Pro Girl Kisser surely calling for it. And here it goes. He's going to walk in with the buck. But it's not going to work because Party is sitting behind the Lego Brick Tower. Going to 180 and take him out. A lot of damage onto Nitrix though. Going to put him onto about one shot. Miss going to be pushing up inside of blue now. This would have been the time to push pro girl kisser when mist pushed up as well that way you have a zombie actually looking at someone other than yourself speaking of a zombie party doing their best right now trying to defend against mist who's pushing in through blue and it looks like the entirety of the orange team are going to be trying to rotate towards blue right now no rotate into church though so they're going to have to make one themselves if they'd like to take it only 55 seconds left Five of the defenders still remain. Definitely a tough spot here for the attackers. No grenades, it looks like, left from Mist. He's... Oh, no. Actually, one grenade left here from Mist, and he's going to try to use it. Looks like to take out 
party right now is it going to land it it is but for some reason it's not going to take party out how is that even possible it doesn't matter though because miss is going to swing and grab the frag and Riss is going to swing himself and grab a kill into nitrix so that's the one hp pulse going to be going down rq though a kill through the moto wall Riss trying to push in but the smoke grenade from kami is going to take him out and mad villain finally getting the last kill on the chewbacca incredible round there from the blue team all right silence on ace now a man of many roles, it seems, playing now Yana, Maverick, and Ace. So at least he's versatile. That's always an important thing to have as a player. Looks like the blue team are going to be going on to Gym Bedroom. Now, they do have match points. So Silence and the rest of the orange team here really need to win this round if they would like to win the rest of Clubhouse. A drone is going to come out. From silence before he throws the aces down which was smart you saw he went to throw the aces and then he hesitated and threw the drone first and that's a good idea because there could be someone bandit tricking or cage tricking etc so smart play there by silence and that's gonna ensure that the wall is now open now the bathroom wall is soft so they probably could have pro girl kisser rotate over and grab that if needed but missed gonna get a kill on a party i believe party was sitting inside a lodgy and he just went below and took him out silence going to drone uh, Kami out here on the bedroom shield. Nitrix prone underneath the table inside of Bachi. That is interesting. And hold on a minute. Risk is just pushing inside a bathroom right now. And so is Silence. He's going to get taken out by Kami. Osa of Risk is just inside a bathroom with a pistol out doing what they can. Smoke grenade is going out, but Kami going to get that kill. Pro Girl Kisser refrags. Nitrix refrags himself, though, with two big kills. Three kills there at the end. GG's. What? a triple kill coming out from nitrix here ggs the blue team is going to take it looking at the end of the scoreboard here nitrix on top for the blue team six and five rq second place six and four as for the orange team our gold player all the way at the bottom four and five miss at the top seven and five and pro girl kisser second place four and four let me know what you guys think of silence so far after map number one we've got one more though at least one more we're going to oregon and we might go to border as the decider but let me know what you guys think of him in the comments all right ladies and gentlemen here we go from map number two we're going to be starting on oregon we have uh silence and everybody starting on defense again and everybody on the blue team starting on attack again so same thing as the last map all right, round number one is starting here, and it looks like Silence and Miss have a pretty interesting strat for Armory and Master here. You can see they've got these Azamis set down, and they have Silence throwing the Wamais to basically stop them from destroying the Azami barricades. So it's pretty interesting. Silence nearly dying, though, because he's going to swing a little bit too aggressively there, and he's going to take about half of his HP from Kami, he's just out here on this uh, master balcony. Miss still just holding behind the Azami barricade. Lying in wait for Kami to swing. Impact grenade's gonna come out, and I think Miss is gonna swing, and that's the kill on Kami. So no more ace for the blue team. They still do have the Maverick, who's gonna be opening up uh, the hole into Attic right now. And Nitrix is gonna get a kill with Nomad all the way on this angle through Attic. So that's gonna be Risk being taken out. Rooney just being a little bit too aggressive, it seems. Silence possibly looking to get healed here by Pro Girl Kisser. Definitely needs to. Yep. There we go. Heal going out. Silence going to try to hold this window now. Looks like Party might try to nade through it. Yep, and that nade is going to land directly on top of Silence. That heal was all for nothing now. And RQ pushing into Attic with the rest of his team. Nitrix party all here but miss still playing inside a master with these attic holes is gonna get a kill onto mad villain nitrix pushing in to uh game sound or at least trying to with rq here but it's difficult because pro girl kisser is holding this attic rotate and he's gonna get two big kills miss trying to flank in here through trophy rq the last player remaining a c4 from underneath is going to miss from chewbacca but the z ping's coming out giving active callouts on where they are miss going to whiff on this swing but he finally gets the kill on the rq the first round goes to the orange team but silence our gold player starts the game off zero and one also it's a good time to mention if you guys haven't already checked out gp with the link in the description consider checking it out use code shock get 30 percent off i would appreciate it 
All right, Silence is going to be on Smoke. And this is an important role to play here on the downstairs bomb. So you can see he's checking on cams. Probably not what you want to be doing here when you're playing Bunker because you can see all of these drones coming his way. The Flores drone as well. And here comes a Twitch drone now on top of it. Is he going to be able to take it out? He is, but one of the ADSs are going to go with it now. RQ probably going to try to throw in some more Flores drones here in a second as well as Party. We'll see how Silence chooses to handle this here. Some grenades go out and take out this bulletproof camera. So Silence no longer going to have that information. You can see Party is going to be throwing his drone in right now as well as RQ. The second ADS is going to be taken out. And here comes the Flores drone now. That's going to be going for the shield. And in my opinion, Silence giving this up a little bit early. Probably could have played that slightly better. At least need to reinforce this off if they're going to give it up now. RQ using one of his last Flores drones to open up the head holes into Bunker now. And it looks like Nitrix is going to be the one to try to push in here into Bunker. And he is going to do just that and take out Silence. So the elbow player is gone. And Nitrix going for a second kill here onto Mist. Going to take tons of damage, but hopefully... Girl, girl kisser can heal him up here just in a second impact grenades are going to go out but not really hit much of anything and these zombies are going to be very useful here to block up these habanas docs go out here gonna heal himself but not miss i'm not sure why rq using his last floor is shown to open up the pillar wall here and he's going to get killed while doing so chewbacca pushes up onto the supply door and takes him out pro girl kisser gets a kill of his own as i say that party is going to be taken out mad villain gets his own kill the chewbacca and he's going to walk into sight now he could try to potentially plant here another dmr kill comes out here from risk miss going to get a kill into mad villain so that leaves kami on their own in a 1v3 here miss playing close on this pillar door going to do tons of damage and there's the headshot Miss going to take Kami out, and that's the orange team winning their second round here. But Silence still 0-2. All right, so it looks like with the orange team winning both of their first defense rounds, they're going to have to go to the third site. So looks like they picked a dining and kitchen, and for that, a lot of the blue team are trying to take small tower right now. So we'll probably see a small tower take. Silence currently playing inside of meeting split. But Nitrix already getting an early kill somehow on a pro girl kisser. The doc going to be taken out instantly. A no way and a nice shot goes out in chat. So unfortunate that we missed that one. Riss is playing above. Trying to contest RQ here on the attic window. And we see Silence pushing below for some reason. Miss going to get that kill from the kid's window. On to RQ who just exposed himself. Droning on the attic balcony here. Mad Villain is able to push in and throw some ace charges down on the wall. And Kami is going to be able to fuse from above. Silence in the basement, though. Party, a kill of his own onto Miss. So Miss finally being taken out. And that above control is slowly dwindling for the orange team here. Silence finally trying to flank up and help his team. But no impacts and no way back into sight from security. So he's going to have to play the Showers Hall here. And he's going to have to contest Kami while Mad Villain is planting the bomb. This is definitely not good for the orange team whatsoever. A kill for Silence, but stuck in a tough situation there. The nade is going to down him. Nitrix uh, going to get the kill for that, but Party going to finish him off now. This is it going to be a rough round here for Chewbacca and Riss if they are going to try to win this here. Riss tries to push up the Shower's Hall for a swing, but Kami is going to be the one that wins the gunfight, and Nitrix wins his own on the Chewbacca. So the blue team finally winning their first rounds on the last round of the split, just as they did last map there on Clubhouse. So similar trend here so far. Still, Silence has one kill. He's no longer the only person that has a donut. RQ is going to take that up from, <laughs> for, from him for this game, but we'll see if Silence can maybe start to, to pick it up now after the split. Wow, an early kill from Pro Girl Kisser. Nitrix trying to spawn peek with Alibi on that games window, but he's going to get punished very, very quickly for that. Silence not being the first picked in a round, so that is good news. Pro Girl Kisser going to be able to get all of the bandits and etc. off the wall, and that's going to allow Mist to now open that up. 
silence is trying to push in through z hall it looks like maybe trying to go for a white push and i don't really see anyone that's going to stop him unless mad villain decides to flank through z or go up through white stairs which is a potentiality here Yeah, Mad Villain at the top of the laundry stairs. Pro Girl Kisser and Silence definitely need to be careful. And as I say that, RQ is going to take out Pro Girl Kisser. So the Buck player is going to be gone now. But Mad Villain is still below. And Silence is definitely at risk of being flanked here. With that being said, not many defenders are really watching the push in here for Silence. You have RQ on big window but that's about it a smoke grenade going to miss and silence going to drone out and see exactly where he is the smoke grenade though surely going to send silence down the rest of the stairs and this could be a kill through the floor holes though it will be at least a down for the time being but the dock is going to stim him right back up cammy with the dock stim pistol gonna get him up instantly and we see rq drops the hatch to try to go for the flank and mad villain is here as well and the swing comes silence not watching his flank as he should be is going to be taken out and an amaru rush in from chewbacca is going to take out kami and now risk it pushing inside of attic along with uh his teammate thermite chewbacca another kill on the party it's just rq and mad villain now rq at the bottom of white and mad villain trying to push in through trophy right now interesting round for sure and miss going to be trying to plant here rq throwing out some smokes trying to prevent it but that's going to miss c4 goes out by mad villain but that also misses and he's going to take significant damage here from lion but he will eventually get the down onto lion wow mad villain also able to get the kill onto termite so that's it i or no chewbacca is still alive so it's all to chewbacca he has to 1v2 clutch this if he's going to want to win. 30 seconds left. He has to hold out for a little bit longer. Mad Villain going to try to go for the defuse. No flashbangs here from Chewbacca, but he will get the first kill. Oh no, Mad Villain got off the defuser. I don't think Chewbacca had even known he was on it. Mad Villain only about 1 HP. Chewbacca, not full HP himself, but definitely in a healthier position here. Here comes the SMG 11, and that'll be the win for Chewbacca. The orange team takes it, and that's... Three to one so far now. So Orange Team takes match point for, I believe, the first time. A spawn peek here from RQ is going to do a lot of damage onto Silence. That, wow, not a good start. I feel like I've been saying that a lot. The starts to the rounds here for Silence have certainly been rough. He's going to be put onto practically one HP here instantly. And unfortunately for him, he's not going to have Doc like Nitrix does to heal up any of his teammates or himself. So... He's going to be stuck on 1 HP for the rest of the rounds. And it looks like he's going to be also trying to do some form of an underneath basement push. Possibly trying to go up through uh, maybe freezer stairs into white. We'll see what happens. Wow, Riss taking tons of damage through the attic wall. The defense actually didn't reinforce it. They kept it soft. Nonetheless, Chewbacca is going to ace that open. Silence trying to push into Kitchen, but Party is just ads ready for it, apparently. And he's going to get the kill. Silence once again going down quite early. S Party getting another kill onto Pro Girl Kisser. There goes the Buck, Risk, and Chewbacca now trying to push in through Attic. Mist trying to push in through Trophy here. So they do have somewhat of a split push, but oh no, Mist messes up the timing. And he's going to take a little bit of damage from the Aruni Gate there. Hopefully, Mist is able to open up the main wall here. I think that's going to be their best bet at trying to win this round all five of the defense are alive and full hp definitely not a good position if you're on the orange team Riss, Riss, and chewbacca are going to be trying to push in now this is definitely what we want to see happen miss going to be droning and trying to push this door himself two players inside of uh, uh games right now i'm not really sure why but both players are just stacked up at games that could be two free kills here for risk or uh somebody here miss gonna get that kill into nitrix who swings on the big window and he's gonna get a second kill onto mad villain but remember party is still sitting here but rq gonna get the kill onto risk is all up to chewbacca and miss now miss trying to do what he can he's already got two big kills though he's going for three onto the aruni barely missing the shots there somehow not killing him but chewbacca able to actually get that kill into party and potentially go for this plant here but miss is actually the one with the bomb which is not a good thing because miss is gonna have to pass by the uh kami here the aruni if he wants to actually push in but kami wasn't paying attention and miss is able to do just that and go towards the default plant spot so now 
Chewbacca just has to sit here and wait, and that's what he's going to do. One kill on the Kami. It's all up to RQ now, who's trying to push into Attic, but there's a Claymore on this Rotate, so it's going to be nearly impossible for him to try to do so. Miss going to go for the swing here now. Hungry for another kill. Surely, the orange team do not win this, and we go to a map number three. RQ on one HP. Going back towards the attic rotate here, but Chewbacca, not even there anymore. Just hoping the Claymore is enough to cover him. RQ going to swing out now of kids. Finally trying to push in and swing Chewbacca. And he's actually going to get the kill. And he almost gets the other kill on the Mist. But Mist is going to win that gunfight. I think just the, the HP difference there was enough that RQ could not clutch that out. And that's going to be GG's for the orange team on map number two. And I guess we have a decider to go to. But... Silence is one in five. So definitely not a good showing for him on map number two. All right, here we are with our last map. We're going to be starting on border. This is going to be Silence's last chance here to uh, prove himself as a diamond player. Remember to let me know what you guys think of him so far down in the comments. I'm interested to hear it, but I will meet you guys back at round number one. I'm not sure what pro girl kisser is doing, but he is about to get killed here any second now. Surely... Yep, RQ is going to take him out. That's the first kill and death of the game here so far. And the Cade going to be pinged out instantly. Silence put all that work into putting that Cade down there. And then Pro Girl Kisser went down, ripped open the door, and made a big uh, a bunch of noise and revealed the location. So that is unfortunate. A nade from below from RQ is going to miss. But Party is not going to miss. And he's going to take out Mist. That is uh, an interesting sentence that I just said. Wow. Anyways, Kami going to open up the armory wall. The EMP is going to come out here from uh, Party. Silence trying to hold from Metal Stairs right now. But he's going to be in for quite a struggle here. As he's pretty much the only one holding armory right now. Party taking a lot of damage from Riss right now. Who's inside of CCTV. Just peeking through these prone holes. I actually kind of like those holes there. RQ sitting on the sandwich window here. This could be the death of silence, depending on how he plays this. We'll see what ends up happening. Mad Villain is going to just say, I'm sick of this and take CCTV. Tired of risk shooting his feet. But Nitrix, a team kill onto Mad Villain and Chewbacca, a kill onto RQ. So your Iana and Buck are going to go down now. But Party is going to walk into sight, get that kill onto silence. But Chewbacca is going to refract. He's going for two now. He's going to get it. And Risk gets the last kill onto Nitrix. What a round. First round, once again, goes to the orange team, though. Silence. No kills that round, but it's only been one round, so we'll give it some more time.
Bomb diffuser has been dropped. Attackers recovered the diffuser. Vent window, vent window. I just got wall bend. Uh, there's two pushing security. He's on that window. Shoot. I can on see you. Window. Are you safe, Stance, or no? No, there's two people on it. Sandwich window. Above is low as fuck. I think one drop sight. One's right, one's, one's right here. Oh, twitch, yo, twitch. yo. Inside, inside, inside. In workshop. workshop. In workshop. She's dead, she's dead, she's dead. That's a nice. fuser, that's a fuser. Yeah, they're diffuser in workshop. Nice. Hey lobby, buck, I'm ping. You can swing him. Nice. Yeah, but last there. Last is... there. Yeah, chill, drop. chill. He's bottom square. In now, holding your ba bathroom door. He's oh, push in, push in bathroom. In bathroom. Ass. Good job, go. dude. Yeah. Good shit. Ah, uh, yo, rush plan, bro. Rush plan is easy vehicle engines, bro. Let's end this shit okay, quick. Are we doing it? Are we actually doing yeah, it? Yeah, bro. I, I'll go get luck, bro. Ain't no pussy shit. Right, no, no, I'll go get luck. Yeah, someone put Monty, Monty, Monty. Yeah, but someone go Monty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silence. Go, go, I silence. Go Monty. All, you, all you have to do is, Zap. is uh, take uh, defuser. Wait, who I play? Who I play? Zap, go, uh, Zap, and Mystic. Oh, uh, we need uh, a Cav, Cav. 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 I mean, Cap, Cap. Cav. Cap. Capital, Capital, Mystic. What? Yeah, I don't play Capital. Alright, fine. So go. Uh, go good luck. You you go good luck. Wait, wait, let me see. Alright, but we'll do a 180 in the plant. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh. There's a... For real. That's what happened. He's gonna do a jump out, too. He, he shot your claim, but he's gonna do a jump out. He dropped. I'm 
Oh, Chad. Here, wait, this is winnable. Because I'm coming oh. to you. This, this is not winnable. They're from behind this. It's 3v2. Yeah, it's a 2v3. Stop east. There's one playing from below. He put a C4. Nice. He put a C4 below. There's one inside. One inside. There's a C4 on this. One town's Wait, office. One town. One town. One town. Yeah. One town's found. There's one. Uh, there's one deep A. Deep, deep archives. Ah, right, bro, your one deep archives. Oh, so watch out. Yeah, he's behind the bomb. Behind the bomb. Oh. Nice. Nice. Last one, I'm ping, I'm ping, I'm ping, I'm ping. He's I'm ping behind this. He's crouch, crouch a little bit. Yo, he's shit. He's a bull. Behind this. You don't he's have crouch. Defender. He's crouch behind this. He he's, he's speaking good. Yeah, you yeah. have to push him. He is. He, he, he went small window, off his window. window. Small off his window. Did you nice. Uh, Let's go, kids. Let's fucking go. We're the best in the game.